Okay, well, what we're looking at here is a circuit board for an ultrasonic transducer. And basically what I did was removed the piezoelectric element out of a fogger and built a little housing for it, or repurposed some plumbing parts anyway. Basically I've got a double male threaded um, 7 16 nut FIP in there mounted into this coupling with a little gasket and I got this idea from Mescal and I'm using this for bubble coalescence to consolidate the bubbles inside this cell because I'm having so much trouble with foam and basically what happens is when a bubble is under the influence of ultrasonic vibrations when it collides with another bubble it will form a single bubble usually they just bounce right off of each other but I noticed something crazy here I've heard that ultrasonics can bore holes right through plastic but I didn't know that they could do it through three inches of water this thing is boring a hole right through my reservoir that was not there and it is directly in line with the center of focus on that element kinda hard to get a focus on that but so I'm gonna fire this up though and basically the purpose of this video is if any of you guys have any comments on what's going on here let me know because this is actually kind of a cool discovery it's unfortunate what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill this out tap it and put a stainless steel screw stud in there with a lens parabolic lens on it or a lens shape like the parabolic I should have said anyway and I wanted to know if that would deflect the ultrasonic waves without resonating my crystal or something or focusing back at it ruining it so if you guys have any comments on focusing or the manipulation of ultrasonic beams I'd really appreciate it I'm gonna turn this on to see if we can get going on now the transducer is not on at the moment at about 9 amps okay so Turn this pump on a second just to get a big mess going here. And I'm going to turn it on. You can see it nearly instantly starts to handle the issue I'm having with this foam. It'll eventually degrade that down. But one of the main things that I'm interested about this ultrasonics is the fact that current flow through electrolyte does not take place with electrons. It's actually a molecule called an anion and a caisson. And if you've got a lot of micro bubbles inside your electrolyte, inside this line here, you see how there's no bubbles in that right now? It'd normally be full of bubbles, but it's just pure water. Because I've got a foam pad down in here now, the very bottom, and the ultrasonics going. But basically what happens is if you've got a bunch of micro bubbles in your electrolyte, the caissons and anions have a much more erratic path they have to travel from one end to the other in the plate gap. So if you get those bubbles out of there, it, it just gives them less resistance and you get a lot more current flow. It's kind of like when you instantly turn on a cell, you get that high current draw, but after a second the current drops off. It's basically because something called polarization is taking place where bubbles accumulate on the plates and decrease the surface area the active surface area of your electrolysis cell and in addition to that the gap space between the plates the median if that is completely proliferated with bubbles the cross-sectional area is diminished also for your a or anion and caisson flow so definitely want to thank mescal for the idea and there's like a perfect little channel being shot right at that thing. I'll turn this off. I just turned the cell off now to see how quickly it clears the bubbles up. I'm going to turn the pump on here.
not bad. So if you know anything about ultrasonics, if you've worked with them in a lab or anything, I would really appreciate your comment on what is going on here and what do you think would be a good course of action. I'm afraid to just stick a stainless steel bolt in there to kind of bounce it off because if it bounced back at that crystal, it might ruin it. I don't know. And this thing was a pain in the neck. So that's the circuit board. And it has a little cooling fan mounted on it because this little thing gets hot, man. It's a pretty nice little circuit though. I like it. Anyway, thanks for the idea on the ultrasonics, bro, and I'd appreciate your comments on the ultrasonics.